take note it's why it's not tricky. Uh, for the most part, it's just two bolts holding the darn thing down. You just pick it up, carry it out. But how to take it out without get covering in water or goop or making a mess of the flooring on the way through the house? Now that's the trick. So I'm going to show you my technique. So first of all, rule number one before you renovate a bathroom, always turn off the water. Flush it and hold it until it doesn't drain anymore. Drain the lines in the house. Open up the taps upstairs, downstairs, get all the water out of the supply line. So the only thing that's left is the water that's in the bottom of the toilet. And then you just take your plunger and you want to get rid of as much of this as you can. Because in the toilet itself has a pee trap, just like underneath your sink. And so there's a certain water level. And when you can get that down, when you're picking it up and moving it around, it won't splash over the edge and come out the bottom. So if you can force it out now, watch out. Now, I'm going to guarantee you, you're not going to be 100% successful in this endeavor. It doesn't really matter. Because my technique is a two-man technique. Here's the bolts. Most bolts have a, a cap on it, and they snap into place. And the trick is to just get underneath it and then pop it off. Now you'll see the setting bolt here. It's just a brass bolt that's attached to the toilet flange. Sometimes you need pliers. Once you get a couple of twists, usually they'll just run off with your fingers. Just take off that nut. And then the washer assembly. And then don't forget to disconnect the water supply. Generally speaking, these water lines are supposed to be hand tightened only. So don't grab tools, just reach back. And the old rule, lefty loosey, righty tighty, counterclockwise here. So now that you're all ready to go, uh, this is the point where you really want help. It, you don't need someone who can do a lot of lifting. You just need someone who can manage the plastic bag for you. And someone that you don't mind getting a little upfront and personal. And you'll see why. Maddie, come on in, give me a hand with this. First of all, we get started. This is not Nate. He looks a lot like him. Yeah. This is my other son, Matt. How's it going? Matt's joined us for a little bit uh, with the company now. Glad to have him back. Yeah, he had, who we worked with? How long did you work with me before? Almost a year? Yeah, it's been a while. And then you took off, and now yeah, you realize how thing. good things are here. Yeah, he buys me yeah. lunch. So. <laughs> okay, I don't know, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm a sucker. Okay, here we go. So basically what you do is you position yourself like this. What Matt's going to do is he's going to bag the whole toilet. Now this is a large construction bag. It's three mil plastic. It's very thick, very strong. My job is just to lift the toilet straight up in the air and hold it while he bags it. And up we go. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to walk out so we can show everybody. Very important here that you come right up the other side. Right? As much as you can. We'll just set this down. So now what we have here is we've got control over the water. So if any water inside that toilet spills over that little P-trap that we talked about, it's going to be trapped in the, in the plastic bag while you're carrying it out. This also makes it easy for two people to carry out because I can hold the tank. Matt can actually grab the plastic itself to carry that up. But before we go, can I have the coffee cup? Here we go. My favorite. I have one of these every day. I keep it in the truck for just this occasion. Every time you open up the flange of the toilet, you do not want sewer smells, stick your old coffee cup in there. Now you're good to go. Just hold this level. Stand up straight, it's okay. There we go. 